Hello everyone. In this session, we will take up another topic that is transverse section of monocot leaf. The transverse section of monocot leaf shows mainly three parts. How many parts? Mainly three parts. They are number one, epidermis. First part is epidermis, and second part is mesophyll, mesophyll, and third part is vascular bundles vascular bundles these three parts are observed in the transverse section of monocot leaf it is also called isobilateral leaves isobilateral leaf okay next coming to first one epidermis epidermis is the outermost layer epidermis is outermost layer it composed of single row of cells and epidermis is present on both the surfaces on both sides it is present on upper side and lower side upper epidermis is also called adaxial epidermis adaxial surface or adaxial epidermis and lower epidermis is also called abaxial surface abaxial surface or abaxial epidermis are you understand next in the epidermis cells are closely arranged without intercellular spaces and cells are barrel shaped cells are barrel shaped barrel shaped and they are closely arranged without intercellular spaces they are closely arranged okay next their outer walls are covered with a waxy layer epidermal layer or epidermal cells are covered with a waxy layer this waxy layer is called cuticle this is cuticle are you understand next in some of the monocots in the upper epidermis some cells are enlarged or suppose these are the enlarged cells these are enlarged cells and they contain thin walls and they are filled with water these epidermal cells filled with water and these cells are called bulliform cells bulliform cells otherwise they are also called motor cells motor cells the main function of bulliform cells or motor cells is folding and unfolding of leaves folding and unfolding of leaves okay are you understand once again i am repeating in some monocots in the upper epidermis some enlarged cells are present they are called bulliform cells or motor cells they are useful in folding and unfolding of leaves next number of stomata is equal on both the epidermises both the epidermal layers these are the stomata and they are equal in number and these guard cells are generally dumbbell shaped in this stomata guard cells are dumbbell shaped next below the stomata there is air chamber or air cavity air cavity is also present below the stomata and the main function of epidermis is to protect inner tissues to protect inner tissues along with that it is also useful in transpiration it involves in transpiration and which is also useful in exchange of gases exchange of gases this is about epidermis next coming to mesophyll mesophyll 
the ground tissue that extends between upper and lower epidermis is called mesophyll tissue it is made up of with either spongy parenchyma or polycyte parenchyma and cells are loosely arranged with intercellular spaces this all is mesophyll tissue are you understand cells are loosely arranged okay next these cells contain chloroplasts chloroplasts are present in these cells so that they are concerned with the photosynthesis it is main photosynthetic area which perform photosynthesis and synthesize food materials are understand in some plants below the epidermis in some plants below the epidermis in the mesophyll sclerenchyma tissue is present sclerenchyma tissue is present which gives mechanical support sclerenchyma this all is sclerenchyma cells are closely arranged and they contain thick walls and they gives mechanical strength or mechanical support to the leaf sclerenchyma okay this is about mesophyll tissue next coming to vascular bundles vascular bundles are numerous they are numerous number of vascular bundles are present they are in the form of veins in the monocotyledon veins are parallelly arranged they are arranged parallelly and vascular bundles are present in the form of veins vascular bundles are conjoint collateral closed type xylem is present towards the upper side and phloem is present towards the lower side this is xylem and this is phloem vascular bundles are conjoint conjoint collateral and closed closed vascular bundles in monocotyledons the vascular bundles are surrounded with special type of mesophyll tissue and that forms a wreath around the vascular bundles this is called bundle sheath bundle sheath bundle sheath this bundle sheath cells divide and extends towards upper and lower epidermis in the cells of bundle sheath are divide and they extend towards the epidermis these are called bundle sheath extensions bundle sheath extensions these bundle sheath extensions are useful in transportation of food materials and organic substances to the vascular bundles this is about the transfer section of monocotyledon in the next class i will come with another topic thank you